Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Since bully, as in word, has uh, its supremacy and dominance over someone, asserting your influence and superiority over another person, all because you feel you have more power, you have more influence, you have more domination, and that's why you, you seem to like put more of your, your dominance on top of another person's child, or it could even result to um, death in most cases. So, in most cases, many people don't look at um, bully as having psychological impact on the child's memory. You know, there are different types of um, bully. You know, we have um, online bully, where some children are exposed to um, some kind of cartoons like that that has influence on them in a negative way. We have this Tom and Jerry, whereby you look at Tom, you look at Jerry, all those type of influence the big and the small having influence on each other and children carry this tendency back to their their homes and this has so many psychological uh, impacts on their minds on their well-being and in the way they have to react to certain things so most people don't look at bully as if it's a very very strong thing bully encompass so many so many aspects and apart from it's just having online harassment and online bully and the rest it also has a physical there's also physical bullying whereby uh, a person tends to hit you slap you want to kick you and do the rest all sorts of things to you and that is the physical bully i'm mentioning the type of bullies you know as i said earlier there's an online bully where someone bullies you online harass you online you understand using social media or any any kind of platform just to bully you and many people don't see it as if it has a very very big impact on the child's life in the sense that that child that is exposed to bully he could eventually die because psychologically most people don't don't regard what goes on in a child's mind even adults who are exposed to bully in their workspace there is a boss who also bullies his subordinates and this mostly causes psychological impact there is um, peer pressure having a significant impact on a child's life there are some certain friends that a child can be exposed to and in that result you can see a child being influenced to become a bully in the sense that the child will like those dominated kind of tendency having superiority over over kids having uh, superiority over another kids and just looking at that insecurity that that particular child tends to have and then becoming a dominant factor on that child so most times we have to like watch our kids we have to look at them talk to them one on one have have physical conversations with them in order to know what goes on in their minds because if we don't do that it will have a very very big impact on the kind of homes the kind of things that they are mostly exposed to some parents are also bullies too in their own way whereby you can find a, a, a father today having his superiority over his family trying to always dominate the mother try to dominate the children try to speak insulting words to the children try to always claim that superiority dominance and the rest on that child and that child carries those tendencies back to school and eventually becomes a very very bad kid in the society so these are some of the things that mostly when you look at you can see that okay this child it has a very rough upbringing has has uh a bad stain on, on him like from the way the parent actually relates with one another so we also have um, an influence of substance abuse some children all because of the kind of peers that they followed already you can see them taking alcohol and the rest and um, mar 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 marijuana and the rest and eventually making them to have this tendency of substance abuse so my own advice is our parents need to have uh, a program that is set, you understand? So that at the end of the day, the children who are exposed to all these bad vices, who are exposed to all these bad vices will not have some of this tendency. And 
the the children will, 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 will at least minimize some of this kind of tendency there are some aggressions that some children mostly exhibit in the homes and parents overlook it and feel okay it's normal because it's a kid sometimes those children need discipline from the parents the community also needs to be involved in training this kind of in training these children when they see a child going this way and trying to claim some superiority and dominance over other kids, the, the society can also call those children into order and tell them that this is the right way to go. And um, there are some children that have low self-esteem. Parents are supposed to build their, their esteem in order for them to have high self-esteem, in order to have high regard for themselves and not have insecurity, being close to their peers and also having low self-esteem in the presence of any other kid. It results to uh, they being fearful and as a result of that, they will not share their perception on life matters with you, the parents. So. Um, the society is supposed to have mental health support for kids, especially those ones that have actually passed through this bullying process. Because it's actually not easy. What goes on psychologically after being bullied, whether online, whether physically, it has a tendency of affecting a child because one, well, the child can become very, very excluded. And this causes sociological uh, impact on the child because isolating oneself is not the right way to go so if you've learned one or two from this my video please give it a like or subscribe to the video because i have lots of amazing contents to give you